We're back here on the zone tonight. We go to the side of today's uh, tailgate as Noblesville hosts Mount Vernon here tonight. The Millers down seven early in the first until Logan Schaffner takes it all the way for the 25-yard touchdown run. Uh, the Marauders respond, though Eli Breitendahl goes to the air, finds George Brin, uh, who refuses to go down 44-yard touchdown to take the lead. But Noblesville wins this one 43-35 to in their brand new new stadium there for the Millers. All right, so that's six games down, folks, but we still got more highlights here tonight. Let's send it over to Charlie Clifford. Hey, Charlie. Hey, see, great to see that stadium looks incredible. Now, the last time uh, Lawrence North did this, 1990, everybody. Last season, you remember, sectional football championship. Head coach Pat Mallory, the Wildcats, eventually gave champion center grove all they could handle in the regional so what can you do in 2022 lawrence north and avon let's kick it off first quarter no score lawrence north demario moore you're gonna hear this name a lot in green this year Woo-hoo! he's gone good luck tackling him same score we have a quick little touchdown rush it in no problem ollie richardson lawrence north 32 25 Gets it done over Avon. Let's go North Central and Fishers. This is always an interesting one, week one. Fishers up by 13 and extending the lead. Carson Dunn, handoff, cutting, and he's in. As the sun sets. Now, right before halftime, Fishers in scoring position. Panther defense, they showed up tonight. Jeremiah Timberlake. Timberlake, it's you. But that wasn't enough. Where was the Panther offense tonight? This thing got out of hand late, 34 to nothing, the final. Go last year. You remember what Ron Colley did, everybody. Undefeated in the regular season. They try to start a new streak against Southport. First quarter, Luke Hansen. Where is he going to end up on the all-time rushing list when he's done? 38-yard touchdown, puts the Royals on top, 6 nothing. few drives later. It's Hansen this time. From 56, Ron Colley rolling Royal Nation 46 to 7. Greenwood opens at home against Seymour. First quarter, Brock Riddell. We're going to get you to Brock Riddell. 17 yard touchdown, 7 0 Woodman. And here they come. A little delayed. It was worth the wait this summer. So again, Riddell, a 7 yard touchdown. Greenwood, Seymour. This Greenwood team, keep an eye on this program this season. Later, Alan Barnett, he's going to fight in in the middle. 35-7, to the final. All Woodman in the opener. Franklin Central, your fans, we saw you tonight. One of the best stadiums out there hosting Perry Meridian. 30 to nothing at half. Nevin Tuttero rolling. And Isaiah Hunter for Perry Meridian makes him pay. Flashes forced to punt a little later. Then the senior, Brian Hoskins, he's been around for a while. It is all flashes in the opener. 37-7 in blue tonight. 11 games down. We are halfway there. Let's introduce Angela Morian. Welcome to the zone, Angela. Thanks, Charlie. I'm just so happy to be here. Let's get right into it. Last year, Lutheran capped off a perfect season at Luke Soil Stadium with the program's first ever state championship. This year, Coach Dave Pash and his Saints open the season as the top-ranked team in Class 1A as they begin their title defense. For the 13th year, Beach Grove, Lutheran, tangling in the season opener. Late in the first quarter, Jackson Willis flips one over to Joe Davis. The senior taking care of the rest of the way. No one's going to catch him. Look at this. Lutheran jumps out to an 18-0 lead. Second quarter, Saints still dominating. This time, it's a handoff to the 6-foot, 205-pound running back, Davis. Hitting the hole hard and shedding the tacklers for another score. Lutheran wins big, 38-6. to Bishop Tatar taking on Brabus in the second game of the Horseshoe Classic at Lucas Oil Stadium. The Trojans in the red zone running back Luke Charikia breaks multiple tackles. What an effort to get in the end zone first score of the night. Brabus punting deep now in their end zone. Watch this. Oh, blocked. Matthew Woods falls on the ball in the end zone for another Trojan touchdown. Bishop Chatar wins 24-13. Move on, Columbus North runs into future Virginia Tech linebacker Asen Stevens. Look at him at Decatur Central. 
Second quarter, Cater Central up 14-0. Bulldogs offense finds a spark. Damon Edwards trudging 36 yards on the screen. MJ Campbell saves a touchdown, and that would be it. Columbus North loses to Decatur Central 26-12. The Quakers of Plainfield back on the gridiron for the 2022 season, hosting Greenfield Central for week one. Quakers opening drive. Watch this one. Hunter Newell slings it over to Troy Larison. He's leveled by safety. Owen Anderson, ouch. The drive continues. Newell attacks one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Grant Irwin goes up to get it. 26-yard touchdown, 7-0. Plainfield, Greenville Central, though, rallies to beat the Quakers 30-28.